For this demonstration of the Seat Gear Cementing System, we're looking at a riserless section such as a cemented conductor or surface casing, for which a Seat Gear compatible float shoe will have been pre-ordered with requisite latch and adapter and potentially locked down wiper plug receptacles. Once the casing has been run and hung off at the rotary table, we're ready to run inner strength. The first thing that's picked up is a Secure BHA, comprised of our latch and adapter, weight set sub, and Secure slip joint tools. This BHA is 30 feet long in its closed position. Once it's picked up, the Secure tool strokes open under its own weight to lengthen the assembly to 40 feet. This 10 foot stroking distance is what allows you to approximately space out your inner string within the casing board. The Secure BHA is run into the casing on drill pipe until made up to the cam actuated running tool. Inner string is then lowered until the latch and adapter engages, which is confirmed with an overpull. As the running tool is established, the secure tool strokes partially closed. Upon closing just 4 inches, the secure tool's internal clutch mechanism disengages to allow free rotation of the inner string along the safe makeup of the cam actuated running tool. It's important to note that the running tool's ball valve is left open for the duration of the Secure cement job due to the hydraulic seals affected within the float shoe at the latch and adapter. At this point, the casing can be run to cementing depth and primary cement job pumped. At the end of the cement job, a lockdown wiper plug can be launched into the string and chased with slurry to guarantee good quality cement around the shoe. It's important to note that the lockdown wiper plug affects a bi-directional seal after it bumps because of a ratchet mechanism built into the nose on the plug and corresponding receptacle in the shoe. Subsequently, pressure is applied to the inner string to actuate a burst disc that's been pre-installed within the latch and adapter here. Once this burst disc ruptures, the remainder of the inner string contents can be circulated out via the inner annulus and vented to seabed. The running tool's ball valve can then be closed by ROV to enable a life of well integrity casing pressure test immediately after pumping the cement job. Importantly, this test can be completed against green slurry in the borehole annulus, mitigating the risks of weakening the cement bond and creating a microannulus due to the radial expansion of the casing under pressure. It's also possible at this point in the job to introduce our patented quick cure process. The quick cure process utilizes a pit of seawater that's been preheated on the rig to approximately 65 degrees Celsius or 150 Fahrenheit. This heat sweep is then rapidly circulated into the inner annulus. After the casing bore has been filled with the heat sweep, a maximal exit temperature is observed on an analog temperature gauge that's been pre-installed on the running tool's ball valve. At this point, the ball valve can be closed to allow the additional heat to soak through the casing wall and into the slurry. The additional heat causes a rapid build in compressive strength while reducing weight on cement time by up to 70% and improving transition time up to 50%. As an option for most secure jobs, a ball drop activation mechanism can be utilized in lieu of the lockdown wiper plug. There are a few key procedural differences for the ball drop version of secure. Once the primary cement job has been pumped, Instead of launching a wiper plug, the secure ball is dropped into the inner string after displacing the cement job within a few barrels of the shoe. The secure ball starts its life as a 1.75 inch tungsten core. It's built up to 1.9 with an NVR coating, seating within a 1.88 counter bore in the ball seat. It's been pre-installed in the latch and adapter, roughly 14 inches off the nose. The ball gravitates down and lands within its seat. After pressure is applied, a half inch packer style seal is affected in the NVR coating. It's important to note that a no-go shoulder has been designed within the ball seat to ensure the ball can be retained. The remainder of the process is the same for the ball drop version as the lockdown wiper plug version. 
and the pressure is applied to the inner string until the burst disc is ruptured and the remainder of the inner string contents are circulated out through the inner annulus and subsequent pressure testing and or quick cure processes can be implemented. However, one unique aspect of the ball drop version of Secure is, because of the positioning of the ball seat within the latch and adapter, 14 inches off the nose, for jobs that weight on cement, it's possible to retrieve a downhole sample of cement from the shoe itself. We call this feature Core Cure, an albeit qualitative, but definitive example of the quality cement you have at the shoe. The remainder of the C-Cure process is identical for any of the versions selected. Because the C-Cure tool is still in free rotate mode, the cam actuated running tool can be disengaged and picked up safely. The last four inches of stroke open on the C-Cure tool engage its internal clutch to allow through rotation and for the latch and adapter to be released through a J-slot mechanism. Alternatively, a backup shear out sleeve built into the float shoe allows a designed overpull to release the inner string. Once the inner string has been retrieved, you're left with a clean casing bore and, importantly, no shoe track to contend with.